game in a week ish so I'm pretty new at game development so I don't know what to expect or how long this is actually gonna take it might only take like three days or four days or five days or six days or seven days or eight days or nine days. all right let me open the best application to use for planning this is my friend Pocahontas um, she's gonna help us think of ideas and brainstorm one way to think of ideas is to think of what you found fun in other games and branch off of that I guess one game I liked was this mobile physics game called Zip Tap. One level had this bar hanging off a relaxed joint right here, and there was a motorized joint right here. Whenever you tap, the arm would bend and start a swinging momentum. The objective was to swing high enough and hit a ball directly above. But I actually found it really amusing to see how fast I could spin in a circle. So maybe we can branch our game off that. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of looks like a sausage to me. Let's add more joints to make it wiggle more like a sausage. And the game could pretty much be like timing how long it takes to spin the sausage 15 times or something, and there could be a global leaderboard too. For the element of weirdness, we could put an ugly dude's face right here, and every time the sausage comes around, it could slap him in the face. This game could be called Sausage Slap. <laughs> this game will no longer be called Sausage Slap. You'll see why at the end of this video. You will not want to miss this. I'm going to use Unity for this project because I've worked with it before. This video isn't meant to be a tutorial so don't expect to learn that much about Unity by just watching. For now I'll be using white rectangle sprites to get things swinging in action. I'll make the rectangles obey physics by adding rigid bodies. And I'll put a relaxed hinge joint here to keep the arm in place and another hinge joint here to connect the two arms. Let's give this motor a little bit of power and see if I did this right. Whoa, wacky! I lowered the power and added angle limits, so now it's swinging how I wanted it to. I added a third rectangle with another motorized joint. And I changed the angle limit, so now it's moving in both directions. Now it's moving more like a sausage. It's time to add some scripts to these bad boys. First, I access the hinge joint. Then turn on its motor whenever the left or right key is pressed. I made a copy of the motor in which its speed would change between positive and negative values according to which key is pressed. This copy takes place of the original motor. I do this because I couldn't change the original motor's speed directly. Then I turn off the motor whenever either key is released. Oh and don't forget to always comment your code. <laughs> Now it's time to attach the script we just wrote to both the rectangles that have the motorized joints. So whenever we press left, it should swing left, and whenever we press right, it should swing right. Here we see it's possible to swing back and forth and gain enough momentum to swing in full circles, which is exactly what I wanted. I found a bug where if you hold down the arrow key while the arm is swinging, the sausage would never lose momentum because the joints would constantly twitch if the motor is moving but is stopped by the angle limits. The solution I came up with was to set the motor speed to zero after the button is held down after a short amount of time. Meanwhile I kept the motor turned on so the joints don't become relaxed. They should stop the twitching. I used a stopwatch to time this. I made sure to start the timer only once when the button is pressed because input.getKey gets called multiple times when the button is held down. I didn't use input.getKeyDown because if both buttons are held down and one is released, I want the sausage to still swing in the direction of the button that is still held down. I messed with the motor speeds and tinkered with the mass of the individual rectangles so that it spins faster and really has the feel of a real life sausage. I added a box with a 2D box collider to use as a trigger here. I made it so that every time the box gets touched, the score increments by 1. I added a timer to keep track of how long it takes to reach 15 slaps and displayed it on the UI. When it hits 15 slaps, the timer stops and that will be the final score of the game. I'm planning to make this game available on the web and on the iOS app store, so I added touch controls. I put the code that controls the hinge motors into a separate function because I need to call it when detecting touches as well as the left and right arrow keys. If the left side of the screen is touched, the sausage swings left. If the right side is touched, the sausage swings right. It's time to draw the sprites. Making the sausage. Oh, oh. Outlining the hand. And the fingers. 
Out in the arm, outlining the body. Oh, coloring it in. Oh, man. Oh, spreading them out. Oh, outlining the head. And coloring it in. Whoa. Oh, different expressions. So instead of having a counter showing how many times the guy has been slapped, I'm going to make it so that his face would become more and more unhappy every time he gets hit. When his face gets to this stage, it'll only take one more hit to finish the game. In the same script where we counted the slaps, I made it so the flinch sprites switches with the neutral sprite when the sausage enters the hitbox and switches again when the sausage exits the hitbox. Here's where I made the expression change with a number of slaps. With 0 to 4, the face is happy, 5 to 9 neutral, 10 to 13 mad, and 14 beat up and mad. When hits 15, the face stays tilted back. Here you can see all the emotional stages a person goes through when being slapped in the face with a sausage many times. I got an image of a spiral and added some colors. I animated it to make it continuously spin in the background. I made some moist sound effects with my mouth for sausages noises and slaps. Looperman.com has a lot of free music loops you can use for projects. This is the one I used and it's been the same one that's been playing in the background. After making the sprites for the title screen, I laid them out on a separate scene. I added animations and functionality to the buttons. Instructions pop up when you click this. And clicking this takes you to the gameplay scene. I created another scene for the game over page where it shows the time and the high score. In the slap count script, I used player prefs to locally save the high score if it was beaten. During the game over page, I used this script to display the new scores on the UI. For the global leaderboard, I used this website called dreamlow.com. This makes saving top scores into an easily accessible database and it's easy and free. I used this video tutorial to help me out. For my purposes, whenever there's a new top score, it uploads the username and score into the database. And when I click this button, the scores are downloaded and are displayed on the UI. I decided to add unlockable skins for better user retention. I made it so that if you press this button, this pops up and I could browse through the available skins and equip them. The more you play, the more skins you can unlock by keeping track of the total number of slaps. Also, this is here because get money, get pay, feel me? Unity has this advertisement service called Unity Ads, and that's what I used. For the skins, I used player prefs again to store which skin is currently equipped and a player pref for each skin to tell if it's locked or unlocked. When the gameplay starts, the skin is equipped and displayed. This script handles everything within the skin select menu and it kinda has a lot going on so I'll try to make it simple. This controls the arrows for going through all the skins. This function gives all the functionality to the buttons in the game over screen when they are pressed. This function is called to show the preview of the skin when going through the select menu. This function is called when the equip button is pressed and the player prefs are changed. This indicates if the skin is equipped, and this indicates if the skin is locked. This function is called to unlock the skins when the requirement is met. So that was pretty much all the main features of this game. Obviously there are many other things I didn't really talk about such as game polishing, bug fixes, corner cases, and small features. I wanted this video to generally document the process of making this game. As you can see, the game turned out to be slightly different compared to the initial brainstorm. It was supposed to be mainly about spinning the sausage, but now it's mostly about hitting the guy's face and there are different techniques in doing so. I know there are many things I probably could have done better with my coding or how I used Unity's features. 
I'm very open to suggestions or tips for future improvement. It's partly the reason why I made this video. I also thought a video documenting the process would be nice and pretty simple to make since this is a pretty small game. I might make another one in the future. By the time this video is up, this game is probably already available on the iOS app store, so it'd mean a lot if you could check it out and leave a rating. I also have two other small games I made last summer on the app store, so it'd be nice if you could check those out too. I'll leave all links in the description. Whoa, 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 what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Your app includes content offensive. Sexual innuendo. <laughs> so the game is now called Eater Beater. I changed the sausage theme into a general food theme. Meaning, I had to change a lot of the unlockables into different foods. Don't worry, it's the same old game, just less phallus shaped food, free of innuendos. I plan on working on more projects and or uploading other bing bong videos in the future. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a 5 star thumbs up, friend request, follow, turn on post notifications, subscribe. See you later, yo hunters.